Hey there! Usually you would want your build server to build an image for you that's consistently done the same way and it doesn't clog up your own machine. But in some cases you might want to do that locally. So I'm gonna show you in this video how you can do that with Minikube. Minikube has a good documentation for how to handle registries. I'll put a link into the description. So here down we can see here are instructions for Docker on Mac OS. So let's start by starting Minikube. This was a success. Minikube is now started. So let's now enable the re registry. And then we need to redirect traffic on port 5000 from Docker to Minikube. So let's do that here. So we just keep this running. Now we should be ready to start pushing and pulling images to localhost. So let's try that out. I did slight cleanup in my project. So now I have this registry base path that's currently pointing to Amazon ECR. And that's used here in the scripts to build the images and to push the images. So now we have the capability of changing this so it builds and pushes images to the Minikube registry. I did something similar for the Kubernetes deployments. So here in the API, we're using this registry based path variable, the front end and in the worker. And then in our deployment script, we are replacing registry based path with the base path we defined here. So this is currently again, Amazon ECR. And now I've defined further enhancement to this code base. So now we can override this registry base path from our terminal for the build script and for the deployment. And export a variable and let's say local host 5000. So that's the, that's the registry. And then let's run the script to uh, build and deploy. So here we see we are using this registry base path and it was successful. So let's look at kubectl and here it is. And let's see if we describe this one. Correct. So let's try one minor change. So let's go down to our worker and let's here do some like a uh, console log here. This is a new change. All right. So now we try to build and deploy again. Everything looks good. Let's get the pods. Uh, this pod is actually crashing, so let's uh, fix that. So export AWS profile. Copy pod, because this pod is connecting to AWS. Let's delete this pod. Okay, it's creating, it's running. So let's look at it. All right, great success. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Be careful when you're building images locally because then you could take some state from your local machine into that image. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.